So today I'm going to show you how to do some decaling. So what we'll do is we'll put a PSA over laminate on the top and we're going to put a mount adhesive on the bottom. So because this is a PSA application we will not need our thermal safety shield. So we will remove that. We're going to go ahead and remove this film supply shaft. And I will put a rewind tube on our rewind shaft. We will lock that in place. And then we will put the PSA film on our supply shaft. PSA film can come wound in two different directions. You have what's called poly in and poly out. Poly in means the release liner is on the inside with the adhesive. Poly out is the release liner is on the outside with the adhesive. So this is a poly in and what we're going to do is we'll put this on the machine so that when the film comes off it unrolls from the bottom. If it was a poly out the film would unroll from the top. Next I'm going to remove the feed tray temporarily you'll notice that there is a an idler bar down here for thermal films for the PSA mounting adhesive we're not going to use this the reason why is if we try to run our, our mounting adhesive through here it's just going to wrap up on us so I'll take this shaft Adhesive. Flip that around. The shaft only fits on the machine one way. All right, I'll get that centered as much as possible. I'm going to bring my top roll of film down and just make sure that I have the edges lined up correctly. So I'll pull that down and measure across here, making sure that it's nice and, and lined up. So we look good there. Now what I do is bring my film underneath the idler bar and I'm going to bring it up and we'll attach it to the rewind tube. So I'm going to line that up. Now to attach this, I take a piece of masking tape and I'm going to do what's called a bow tie. So I'll take this tape and I'm going to twist it 180 degrees so that I have adhesive on this side and adhesive on this side. You can use two-sided tape but it's usually a lot stronger than masking tape and it's harder to get off. So after I have this wrapped up. I'm going to lightly score my film. I don't want to cut through the liner. I just want to cut the film.
So I'll bring that film down and I'll drape it over the rollers like this. Then I'm going to bring this mounting adhesive up and I'm going to tack it right to the film. Go ahead and take up a little bit of that slack. Now when I do this, I want to make sure that I get that a good wrap on it like this and then give myself a little bit of slack here and I'm going to tuck this into the nip area of the rollers. So I'll push this in and when I do this, I want to make sure that I have this nice and flat against those rollers. And I'll guide that in a little bit. Once I have it in there, I'll go ahead and close the roller. And I'm going to use my foot pedal to get that started in. Once I see it started in, I want to make sure that it's coming through the back side. So I'm going to keep an eye on it through here. Make sure that we're, we're good. Okay. At this point, I I'm going to check the front. And I can see I have a little bit of bagging over here and it looks good over there. So what I'll do is I'm going to gap that those rollers come back around the back side and just pull a little bit. I'll hold that in place and then go back to pressure. And now I can see that everything is looking good. I have a little bit of bagging over there. And we'll go ahead and redo that. This is what's known as burping the machine. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and put the feed tray back in place. And then we'll gri grab some prints and we'll start our decaling. Now to do the decaling, I'll go ahead and get it set up and start it in. Get that started in. Then I'm going to press run, release my foot pedal. Now I can go ahead and make some adjustments to my brake and to my clutch. And what I'm doing is I'm letting this release line or float out here. I don't want it to be really tight. I don't want my brake to be really tight because if, when you do that, what's going to happen is you're going to stretch your film. It's called necking. And the last thing you want is that because it might look good for a while, but what's going to happen is that film has its memory and it'll try to find its way back. And if you have this mounted to a rigid substrate might look good for a day or two, might look good for a month or two months, but eventually that film's going to try to find its memory. And what will happen is it will pop off of whatever you have it mounted to. So you'll see tunnels running through the entire print.